I know what you're saying. Hey, Doc, I already know how to take a timeout. Do you? Hey, I'm Dr. McCleary, and I make mental health videos for veterans. So taking a timeout is a oldie but goodie anger management or stress management technique. But it's actually a lot more complicated than it sounds. I want to break down the timeout into simple steps. Yes, there's levels to this. And at the end, I want to give you a couple of my hidden tips to help set you up for success. This first step often goes missed, but it is telling the person who you are in the argument with, conversation with, dispute with, that you are taking a time out. Yes, this means you actually have to communicate with that person in front of you. You need to let them know what you're doing. Hey, I see this conversation going in a direction that I don't want it to go in. I need to take some time to calm down so I can come back to this because this conversation is important to you and it's important to me. Letting people know where you're coming from is extremely important because if you just turn your back on somebody, if you just say, all right, I'm done and walk away, the younger me and me without the degrees, the veteran me says, that's how you get a bottle busted in the back of your head. Sorry, not sorry. Let somebody know what you're doing before you actually walk away. Oh, we're not done communicating. What you also need to let them know is when are you going to come back? When you don't let somebody know when you're going to come back to address the situation, address the problem, address this difficult conversation, then they may think that you're never going to come back. And maybe that's something that you've even done before, walked away and never came back. And then a week later, next day, next month, seems like the same problem happened over again. That's what happens when we actually don't resolve issues. They come up again. All of this communication happens before you actually walk away before you actually take the time out. So now let's go take a time out. Let's walk away. The next step, walking away. When you walk away and you spend some time to calm yourself down, to think about the situation, there's a trap that's very easy to fall into. That trap is sometimes we go and take a time out and then we start thinking about all the things that this person did, all the things that they did in the past, how we're going to get back at them. And when we come back, we actually come back more angry than when we left. That's a trap. One of my pet peeves that people often say, and I have a lot of pet peeves that people say, is, oh, well, time heals everything. Well, that sounds like horseshit. Time does not heal everything. Matter of fact, it heals nothing. Time itself, time passing, doesn't really do too much. It's actually what we do during that time that gives you the healing, that gives you that improved mood. So when you take a time out, 
When you walk away, you have to do something during that time. Do something to improve your mood. Do something to calm down. Whether that's getting a drink of water, whether that's playing with your kids, whether that's taking a walk, whatever you need to do to calm down, to be able to come back in a better mind space. That's what you need to do during that time. Here's a bonus tip. A question that I often get is, well, how do I know when to come back? Great question. The answer is you come back when you're actually calm. If you try to come back too early, you have missed the whole point of the timeout. The timeout is to come back in a better space. If you are not in a better space, well, guess what? It ain't time to come back. Okay. So you've communicated that you have to take a timeout. You've taken your timeout and done some things to calm yourself down. Now, what do we do? Right. We come back. If you don't come back, that's not a timeout. That's a retreat. Coming back, it's what actually makes it a timeout. Think about sports. Just because you took a timeout doesn't mean the game is over. And when do you often take a timeout? When you feel like the game is going in a direction that you don't want it to go in. It's getting out of control. The other team is getting some momentum. You take a timeout. You collect yourself. You calm yourself back down. You plan. And then you get back in the game. None of us make good decisions when we're overwhelmed and stressed out. When Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk, you don't reason with that guy. That guy is about to smash something. You have to wait for him to come down. That's when you have that conversation. Okay. So hopefully that all worked out. Now you know the proper steps to actually taking the time out. But let me give you a bonus tip. And this is often left out. And it's something that I have discovered is going to set you up for success. Are you ready? What you need to do before you actually take a time out is tell the people in your life that you are probably going to be taking this time out with that this is something that you're working on. If you spring taking a time out on somebody in an argument and they don't have any idea what you're doing, this is totally new, you may not have the best reaction from them. But if you've already communicated that this is something that you are going to work on, you know you have a temper. You know that you know, calming down is hard for you. Not raising your voice is hard for you. Not saying very harsh and mean things is hard for you. So prior to those difficult conversations that will come up, you let them know, hey, I'm trying out something new. If I see a conversation going in a direction to where I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed, I'm going to try to practice taking a time out. Typically, someone's spouse, someone's girlfriend, boyfriend, child, parent, grandparent, friend, Typically, they'll hop on board. Typically, they will say, great, I'm glad you're working on that. And they'll even agree to letting you take a time out in the future. Well, guess what you just did? You just primed them to when you take a time out. 
Now you've done something that you've already discussed, something that you've already agreed upon. And most likely they are going to be okay with it when you do. And most likely you're going to set yourself up for success. Something to think about. If this video was helpful for you, and I hope that it was, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, they can probably be helpful for another veteran. So I ask that you please share it with them. Because at the end of the day, that's what all this is really about. One veteran trying to help another.